Is COVID-19 a real threat to life? It's killing people. So I think that it's, it's a very serious threat. I think that COVID-19 is what we're focusing on right now. So I don't mean to, to minimize or to say, you know, I don't know a lot about COVID-19. All of us are being fed information. Um, who I choose to really put my, my, my emphasis in as far as the information that I receive, uh, I, put my, I put more of my trust with the scientists, the doctors, and the nurses. So I put it like this, if they're wearing masks, I'm going to wear masks too. If they're, if, if they're saying that this is real, then I'm going to go by what they're saying. All of the numbers say that this is a deadly a pandemic. We should all be protecting ourselves the best way that we can. We shouldn't be dividing over this. I know that sometimes we can look at our world and, and the way that the news has it, they politicize issues like this. There's some people that feel like that it's the, the right thing to wear a mask. Some people feel like it's not the right thing to wear. I think that, that both can be right. I think that we should just protect ourselves and not judge one another, pray for each other, um, and do all the things that the, the CDC is recommending we do to keep ourselves safe. And, and, and you know, I just say that, that rest peacefully to, to all of those that, that, that lost their lives and those that are, that are mourning the death of someone that's died of the COVID-19. Pastor Martell, do you think the coronavirus will be around forever or will it be treated like uh, the common flu? Well, this is one of the questions we, we accepted it, but it, it's out of my pay grade, really. I think that with, with any virus that, that we've seen, we learn more and more how to deal with it. We learn more and more about it, the more familiar we get with it. So. My short answer is yes, I think that it will become more common. Um, will it be like the common flu? Uh, I, I'm hoping that it gets to that level, but in no way do I want to mislead anyone. I think that it is very deadly. They're saying that it is more dead. It's like 10 times more deadly than the common flu. You know, I, I think that we, we, we must take it serious. The future of it, hopefully we'll have a cure, a vaccine, or maybe even Jesus will return before we have to solve that problem. We know you take care of yourself and always advise to take care of ourselves. What can we do specifically to stay healthy? I think that, uh, that taking care of yourself is very important. I think that it's not only important to take care of ourselves for our health and well-being, but it's also important for us to take care of ourselves because there's a lot of people that love us and depend on us. and. When I started to really begin to be conscious of, what I, of how I ate, the exercises I did, I just, I took it little by little. So I don't expect everybody to be where I'm at with taking care of yourself. But here's some simple things I can tell you to do. I tell you to get plenty of rest. A lot of times we can, you know, we can lose track of time and we can even waste time just watching TV, on Facebook, on Instagram, whatever, just wasting time. Long days can turn into long nights. So I would say make sure that you're getting proper rest. When you, when a body gets proper rest, the immune system responds properly. I would say as well that you've got to cut down on a lot of the junk foods. You know, a lot of the sugary drinks, the drinks that have a lot of calories in them, some of the, the foods that we eat, a lot of the snack foods that, that we eat, that are very high in sugar, reduce that. You know, be mindful of what those type of foods that you're putting into your body. Try and replace those with fresh fruits, with vegetables. Drinking lots of water helps to, to flush your system of toxins. And then as well, I think it's important to have an exercise regimen. An exercise routine, what I always recommend to everyone is walking is very good for the body. If you walk a mile a day or you if you work your way up to where you're walking a couple of miles a day, walking uphill, walking faster, but just challenging yourself with that. If you are good to your body, your body should be able to bite off anything that, that's out there that's a, that's a threat to the immune system.